Friday. So today's Friday, September 27th for me, but it is Friday, October for you. So I just wanted to take you with me on a day in the life while we are co-working. So we started out this morning and we worked out, we got ready and we came here and now we are just saying hello to you. So I am working on my beta course that I am writing right now about authentic online marketing. I co-work. I co-work all the time. I love it. <laughs> so what I'm working on right now is planning my day with my candy planner. I love it. Um, it helps me stay focused and know what I need to accomplish. And then how often do you co-work it? Um, I co-work usually about at least once a week. It's really great when you're working, you're an entrepreneur and you know you you don't necessarily have a team or anything like that. It's kind of fun to be with other smart uh, men or women. I usually feel with women. There are a lot of smart entrepreneurs who know they with other women. Um, and just really like get that focus time, but also if you know, something's coming up, have the uh, creative brains to help problem solve. I'm Meg. I am working on my editing for my clients. I'm a photographer. And I probably co work about like once a week right now. And I like it because it gets me out of my house and in new places around people and um, I like getting feedback. Like if you're working on a project and you just want a little feedback on something, that's really, really helpful. And to see friends. So we're back at Camila's place. That's Camila. <laughs> and we took a little break so that we could come see Loki and just grab some lunch. And now we're gonna head over to WeWork or we're going to get Manny Petties. One of the two. All right, it's a little after two o'clock. I just got home. I dropped Camila and Lauren off to get their nails done but my manicure from two weeks ago is still perfectly intact. So I am going to go ahead, decompress, read a book for a couple hours, and then decide whether or not I wanna do some work or maybe just keep relaxing for my Friday. It's about seven o'clock and I just finished at the whole book, Checked Out by Elizabeth Van Craig. It's Friday afternoon and I have nothing urgent. All of my videos are done for the weekend and for next Monday, so 
I just thought I would relax and go with the flow, which is kind of like how co-working days work as well. Some days everyone is like nose to the grindstone and like we set a timer and we do a Pomodoro or we sometimes just sit there and chat and maybe don't get so much work done, but we get to catch up with each other or we get to bounce ideas off of each other. So I love all of my co-working sessions. And obviously, as you can tell from all of my vlogs, I love all of my friends because they keep making appearances in all of my vlogs. So you want to see what I do in real life and I am pretty much with my friends a lot of the time. Uh, so if you are wondering what co-working is like, it's pretty much just like it was today. We usually go to coffee shops um, if we think we want to have some tea or lattes or snacks or something, or we will go to a place like WeWork, which is designated just for co-working. Uh, we try to mix it up and we basically basically don't plan it really too far in advance. It's more spontaneous, so, which is very on me, but we'll do it like maybe we'll plan it a week in advance or a couple days or maybe the night before, or we'll send a million text messages to each other the morning of. So it really just depends. And I love co-working with my friends because then I feel at least like I'm productive and getting things done, but I can still socialize and hang out with my friends. And it's, I don't think honestly, it's any different than when I was in corporate America, you'd get some work done and then every once in a while you would lean over to somebody else or walk over to their office and chat with them for a while for just a little break in between. So that's what I do. And if you are, I don't know where you're located, but when I first moved here, I had zero friends. Like literally I knew absolutely no one. I had never visited here in my life. I had no family. I just knew I really liked the weather and wanted to move here. So I made all of my friends online, which is totally fine. I know sometimes people are like, oh, you should meet people organically or, you know, while you're out and about. And that's great if that can happen, but sometimes, you just have to make friendships happen. And you know, I have been friends with everybody you saw today for years now. And that, you know, in the beginning we weren't like co-working buddies and doing group texting all the time. Uh, but slowly you kind of, I think it's just like any other relationship. You kind of feel it, feel it out and see like, who you mesh with and who you really resonate with and who you like hanging out with and you know, things that you guys have in common. And so, yeah. That's kind of it. Anyways, it is, like I said, seven o'clock. I am going to go upstairs and try to get some work done if you want to come with me. And <laughs> All right, it's about nine o'clock and I am pretty tired. I did not make it all the way through. I was doing the October monthly planner for readers and writers that I give out every month to my mailing list. And hopefully I should be able to finish that up tomorrow. It's Saturday. If you saw my last vlog, you know I actually have very productive weekends. So I have no social activities planned at all tomorrow. So it will just be a full day of working. So I can definitely get that done. And I am pretty hungry, but it's really too late to have like a full meal or order food by the time it gets here. So I'm going to make some ice cream. Uh, yeah, basically it's just chocolate all day today. So I make homemade ice cream because I don't know if you know this, I can't have sugar. It makes me super sick. So I have been doing lots of sugar-free stuff, including all of the chocolate that you saw before. The Russell Stover was sugar-free. And so I've had to start making my own ice cream because I do love ice cream. It is not something I'm willing to give up. So I bought an ice cream maker, which I love. And the ice cream is actually pretty good. I use honey or maple syrup instead. I know that's a form of sugar. I just can't have processed sugar. Anyways, I will show you my recipe and how I do that in case you are interested. But this is the end of today's co-working and day in the life vlog for a Friday. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have really great co-working sessions or people that you can co-work with at least once in a while and just sort of lift your spirits up. People who are positive and make you feel encouraged and excited about everything that you do and are always cheering for you and rooting for you. So that's what I hope for you. All right, I hope everyone is having a 
fabulous Friday and I will talk to you guys next week because I plan on trying to do probably not weekly but I'm going to try to do vlogs for Preptober so you can kind of see how I outline and how I go through everything and all that good stuff. All right, bye!